In the wake of the tragic shooting at Fort Hood, Texas last week, Governor Rick Perry did what I expected him to do. He came out and ordered the flags in the state of Texas flown at half-mast, which on the surface seems like a nice thing to do. But it was Joseph Stalin, one of history's greatest tyrants, that said, when one man dies, it's a tragedy. When 10,000 die, it's a statistic. 22 veterans commit suicide every day, seven of them active duty. That's a world record, even breaking the record that we saw at the end of Vietnam. There's no discussion of that. They just throw more psychotropic drugs at them, known to cause suicide. They make them serve more and more deployments. They treat them like crap. A lot of them are going bankrupt. They cut their pay. They screw them over. But it's okay because Rick Perry put the flags at half mass and then we all feel sorry for the dead. The three dead, four of you count the shooter, 16 wounded. When we've got 22 people killing themselves, seven every single day who are active duty. Think about that. The flag makes us feel good, like we're doing something for the veterans. It's sentimental. It's totally on the surface. Just like Obamacare, they say it's free. They say you can keep your doctor. If you like your plan and your doctor, you can keep them. You'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you like your plan, you keep your plan. If you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. They say it's wonderful. All of it's lies. Raises payroll taxes on poor people, gets rid of your doctor, doubles or triples prices, written by the big insurance companies, lets them lower the standard of care. Doesn't matter. Obama loves you and wanted to give you something. Like Perry gave us a flag at half-mast. And I'm not just attacking Rick Perry. He would be attacked if he didn't put the flag at half-mast. What does that say about us? We want to feel good about ourselves while not actually getting our hands dirty and finding out why the so-called volunteer army is killing itself. The truth is, too many deployments, drugs known to cause suicide, sweeping it under the rug, veterans being treated like crap, all these Homeland Security reports saying veterans are the number one terror threat in the future, that the Tea Party's a threat, that evangelicals are a threat. Simply put, the veterans are being treated like garbage and that's why they're committing suicide. And so we need to stop treating them like garbage, not just pat them on the head or give the dog a bone by flying the flag at half mast. It really is absurd and it really illustrates how we've become a nation of BSers run by a culture of PR pitchmen. In fact, they're getting rid of the White House press corps now. They're not even going to have regular press conferences. And why should they? They can just have PR flax, put out the lies, and then the accomplice media, the lapdog press, will go along with it. So that's why every time I saw the flags this last weekend at half mast, it irritated me because it reminded me of how not just the veterans, but foster children, anybody who's in government care or in government clutches is treated like absolute garbage. And how as the government and Obamacare and the school lunch program federalize everything, more and more, I am a slave of this system just as you are and I want off this plantation. I don't want to see our veterans treated like crap. I don't want to see the politicians exempt from all the things they do to us. I want to see them out there fighting for this empire if they think it's so great. But we know the rich kids of Congress almost never go to war. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars Nightly News and InfoWars.com. Now back to InfoWars Nightly News. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Welcome back. Now we see from iRoots.org a couple of tweets from a neocon who writes for the Washington Enquirer. His name is Philip Klein, and this is what he said. I didn't realize Glenn Greenwald and Alex Jones co-wrote movies until I saw Captain America 2. Don't see it unless you're in the mood for pro-Snowden propaganda. Well, guess what, Philip Klein? We don't write the scripts. It's the NSA and the mainstream media and the mockingbird press like you that write the scripts. We just give people the spoiler alerts on the new world order. And we're proud of the fact that we do that. Now, if you do want to see the full review with spoiler alerts, he's got it at the bottom of that article. Also, you can see that up on the Alex Jones show. Our crew reviewed it and it does have some spoiler alerts, just like we tell you what the new world order is up to. Now, look at this that came out. We got some breaking news about Agent CI7. One of Obama's closest confidants is actually the FBI's confidential informant number seven, and that would be Al Sharpton. Who would have thought it? You know, from Tawana Brawley to MSNBC, he's, his whole life has been a lie, and he's basically been profiting from the racial uh, strife that he's created and the disruption that he's created with his lies. Now, going back, this guy, it turns out, they investigate this quite a bit. This is from The Smoking Gun, and even though he is denying ever having worked as an FBI informant, and he did that in his 2013 book that he wrote, he denied that he was ever part of that, they went back and got FBI documents, a very long, extensive, well-documented investigation. And they say that he was flipped in 1984. Keep in mind that the Tawana Brawley case was three to four years later. So he was already working for the FBI when he did that. Now he's at MSNBC. And what is he doing there? He's working as COINTELPRO, flipping the country, dividing us into black and white, trying to foster this racial division, which has been the kind of dishonest lies that he's been engaged in his entire life. Maybe he was honest when he was with the mafia. I don't know. Well, that's it for tonight's news. We have a special report coming up after the news with Leanne McAdoo. Please consider getting a subscription to Prison Planet TV. With one subscription, you can share that with up to 10 friends and family at the same time. It's a great way to wake people up. You can see all of Alex Jones's documentaries there. And it is a way that we give the spoilers of the New World Order. We're not writing this as a script. We're just giving away what we see them doing. That's it for tonight. Stay tuned for Leanne McAdoo's special report. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula 
population, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. I'm standing on South Lamar in downtown Austin, right in front of P. Terry's Burger Stand. P. Terry's is a very popular local business. People come here, they flock here because they are hungry for the organic, locally sourced beef and produce. It's non-GMO. They've really become successful on this platform. But in spite of all of that success, P. Terry's and other businesses across the nation are now facing a dilemma. Will they comply with Obamacare, meaning they're going to have to pay these hefty new insurance rates for their employees? and pass the cost on to consumers or will they cut workers hours so that they're only employing part-time workers or will they pay hefty fines for just not providing insurance to their employees at all meanwhile right across the street huge globalist corporations like McDonald's do not have to comply with the rules of Obamacare they can continue providing subpar insurance to their employees and they won't have to pass the cost on to the consumer meaning they can continue to sell you fake plastic hamburgers for a dollar you think a law is a law like if it's illegal for me to run a red light shouldn't it be legal for you to run a red light also in consensus about that. Well, do you think it's right that Obamacare penalties don't apply to big corporations like McDonald's, but across the street at P. Terry's, they're going to have to either pay hefty fines or cut back employee hours? I think that's wrong. Pardon? I think that's wrong. <laughs> no, that's horrible. I didn't know that. They don't have to comply with the law, meaning they can continue giving their employees really awful health insurance. But ain't the law the law? They have to apply? What will happen if they don't apply with the law to them? Well, nothing's going to happen to them because they've got their buddies uh, in Washington. It's the way it is these days, I guess, right? What are you going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> vote yeah. and vote with your dollars. Would you pay an extra dollar to eat at McDonald's if you knew that it meant that they were giving their employees better insurance? No. I only eat there because it's a dollar. The money that is spent here, uh, for the most part, stays here uh, with, with the local employees, unlike a company like, say, a Home Depot or a Walmart that uh, collects funds, collects money from the local economy, and then sucks it out. If you have enough money, you can pretty much get away with anything. Yeah. You have, that seems to be the, the rich and the big corporations are definitely getting away with not paying their fair share. Yeah. Uh, Anything. Murder. I mean, I've seen people that have a lot of money get away with murder, so I don't think that uh, bending rules on uh, food products would be any, any different. Basically, what we're seeing here is a shutting down of competition. If you are a small, successful company like P. Terry's that's been able to open up several other businesses in the surrounding area and provide a lot of jobs for the local economy, that doesn't matter to Obama and his cronies in this current administration. They care about the lobbying power behind huge corporations like McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Subway, these corporations that continue to sell fake plastic food. It's been shown that some of the ingredients in, in a lot of fast food chains are questionable and they could actually cause cancer. Are you cool with that now because you've got Obamacare? Um, no, I don't have. And I'm not cool with that. That's horrible. I have no idea. <laughs> plastic burgers? You mean to tell me I ate at McDonald's plastic burgers all my life? Jeez. Surprise. Jeez. Now I'm not going to go there anymore. Hey, but you've got, we've all got insurance now, so we can pay for our cancer. Some of these big corporations that pay their employees less than a livable wage are saying it actually hurts their employees if they give them good health insurance because since they make such a low income, they could go to the exchanges and qualify for subsidies. And that's ridiculous because basically that's just passing the burden onto the taxpayer. Those subsidies are not free. So once again, we are seeing the rich, large corporations, politically connected groups are able to lobby their way out of laws that the rest of us are forced to obey or else.
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.